I think you probably feel like you really got the better in the second time around. Yeah, for sure. I'm, uh, I came to fight and I came for a challenge. I knew it was going to be a bloody war. I came for war. And uh, I want to thank my coaches and everyone helping me out to get this win. And uh, yeah, I think I won the match. What were keys for you going in? Keys were to stay focused. I know. I know how hard he wrestles, and uh, I could wrestle just as hard. Once again, I let the atmosphere get to me a little bit. Got to work on that, but uh, I thought I dominated the match. What I guess what happened at the end? Uh, there was a lot of headbutting going on. I was fighting. Uh, I believe I shot. He shot. Almost got in. I locked up a cradle. They weren't calling two. I got my two, and uh, I took him down. And he did the whole fight up thing and tried to get in my face like last time. And I ran him back. <laughs> and uh, I'm just here to win, and I'm, I'm not going to back down. I've been through too much. You guys said some words after things kind of settled down there a little bit. Yeah. What was said? I asked, simply asked him, what would you say last time? You were barking in my face. What would you have to say? That was it. Hey, man, I'm humble. The whole with Coach Brands, it is what it is, but he got in my face. I got to defend myself, man. Last time, he was yelling in my ear. Everybody was yelling at me. It was my turn now. So, just so I clarify, so Coach Brands was, was said something to you too? Or? No, that was last time when he did beat okay. me on the sideline. They were yelling in my ear. I couldn't hear him. The, the Carver Arena was so loud. But uh, no, it's not in disrespect. I have full, full utmost respect for the Brands brothers. They're legends in the sport. But uh, I don't back down to nobody. Is it any impact when you're, when you're getting there ready and you see a meet you, it's forfeited out of that? I don't know. It's, it seems like a trend. He's an awesome wrestler too, but I don't know, man. I, look, look at me. Yeah. Okay, I, had, I was hospitalized for, for 10 days last season before NCAs. Couldn't even walk. I had to sit out for four months. I mean, this is what it is. I'm just here to wrestle, man. And, you know, and I want to thank everyone who supported me and stuck with me. I went through some, went through some downs, you know. I got a taste what defeat was like. And uh, today I showed up and I got one more. One First time you've ever been to the Big Ten Final. That's amazing. It's a blessing, man. And it just goes to show to never give up. Honestly, never give up. I didn't know if I was going to be here this year. Yeah. I had negative thinking, and I, I still do. <laughs> but we're here, and I want one more just to showcase my skills and represent my ability. And uh, that's where we're at. A guy that's won as much as you have, where are those negative thoughts? Where do they come from? I don't know. They come from your own mind. They come from just doubts and through injuries and through just, uh, I guess, the wrestling world, you know, I got a lot of fans. I got a lot of people that want to see me win. That's awesome. But you know, it cut the blue in. You know, the, the stall call, all that stuff comes with the sport, and it's got a, you know, the, the cut eyes and the whole thing. So stay, stay in my composure. That's it. You know, stay, stay in composure and get the job done. And today I did, and I was gunning for that. And last time I failed to do that. But to end it off, I want to thank God and bless and everyone who supported me. Bless them too, because if it wasn't for my family and my coaches at Rutgers, uh, I wouldn't. I don't know if I'd be here, you know. So we're here, and I got one more, and it's amazing.